Hello, how are you? Thank you for watching my live stream video about Leos and why I hate the zodiac sign Leo. Now, let me keep it real. I don't hate all Leos. Okay? I actually love Leos. You guys, some of you are dope as hell. But there are also some of you who um, whose behavior I'm not too fond of. Now, I've you know this is based off of behaviors I've noticed you know over time. All right, from Leos, certain ways that Leos have. All right, that I'm just not feeling. Okay, so I had this Leo guy. I can't really call him a friend because you know I thought I could call him a friend, but I later found out that I couldn't. I had a Leo dude. Okay, that I actually met through my YouTube channel. Okay, so he was at one point a subscriber of mine. Um, who I started chatting with outside of the YouTube sphere, right? And he had a way about him where he was a bit shady, okay? I have to admit, Leos have a way where they can like to play ego trips or play ego games. So, like, they like to put your ego in check a lot of the times. Um, and this is ironic because a lot of times, not all Leos, but some Leos have difficulty with actually keeping their own egos in check. Um so the way of keeping their ego in check is to keep yours in check, if that makes sense. Um, and this comes from a place of insecurity, all right, of, you know, uh, low self-esteem and things like that. Um, you know, so this dude was kind of shady. He would say shady remarks, you know, about certain things. Like, you know, I uploaded a video and he said it was like, uh, what did he say? He just said something really shady, like, you know, it was like the low budget version of another rapper, another music artist, but I liked it, right? So it's like, okay, it's like a, you know, side eye remark, but this Leo dude actually told me because um, he watched a video of mine about Leos and about the Zodiac sign Leo, and because it didn't resonate with him or because it didn't make sense to him, he said that I'm bad at astrology and I should probably stick to tarot reading. I was so confused. I was like, wait, what? Like, you know, who are you to sit, who are you to tell me what I'm good at, you know, like, are you playing with my ego? No, I'm a Capricorn. So, you know, ego isn't in my vocabulary. All right. Like I don't get off of ego. I don't get off on ego. You know, I don't get off on my ego being validated. So, but it was just weird that he was trying to put my ego in check as if he thought I had a big ego. Um, so I didn't even argue with him. You know, I just blocked him. I was like, all right, dude, I'm going to, I'm going to block you. Cause I don't even know why you're like, where this is coming from, because it kind of came out of nowhere. But the kicker was, and Leos also have a way about them where they like to put you down to make themselves feel better, you know? And this is like an inferior level of a Leo, but the kicker was when he said that he put me in the friend zone. He thought I was mad because he put me in the friend zone. And I don't know where this came from, why he thought I would be attracted to him, you know? Like, so Leos can also have this way where they assume things about you, and they assume things about, you know, what you like, what your tastes are, you know. They also assume things about, you know, what exactly your ego tends to get off on. They assume, you know, they also assume you're like your, your um, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for? They assume that they know what your weak points are. They assume that they know what your Achilles heel is based on ego though. So the thing I like that irks me the most about Leos is that they are so egocentric a lot of the times. Like, you know, even when it comes to dealing with people, they have a way about them where it's like, well, yeah, you're good, but you're not better than me. You know, and it's just like, why, why are you competing? They have this way where you guys are very, very competitive. And you also have a way where Leos can be very, very jealous, okay? Um, now this dude was a Leo sun, but this also applies to like Leo moons, Leo risings, Leo venuses, you know, like wherever you have Leo, like relate this to you. Now, I don't have strong, prominent Leo in my chart, but this is something I just noticed with Leos. They have a way where they can also be a bit competitive. And as a Capricorn sun, Libra moon, Virgo rising, the only person I'm competing with is myself, you know? Um, but Leos have this way of bringing this competitiveness out of you that, you know, not everyone actually likes dealing with or participating in, you know? So like, these are just some things that I find very, very aggravating about Leos. And I just had to get this off my chest, you know? And I, I would love to know if anyone else in the comments you know, what your dealings are with Leos, how you feel about Leos, you know. I was just so put off by his behavior and how he just came out of nowhere. And I guess I should have saw it coming because from the beginning, he was quite shady. He had this kind of backhanded way of, you know, like giving compliments, you know, and it's like, yeah, you're good at this, but you're not that good, you know. So it's like, you know, 
It's like gratifying your ego just enough that you stay in your place, you know? So it's like Leos also have a way where they can't give you your full props. They kind of hold back, you know, sometimes just to keep you in your place, just to keep you beneath them or to keep you on the same level as them. Like a Leo has a way sometimes where they don't like to see you doing better than them, you know? Leos have a way as well where they're like, you know, I can do it better than you, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's kind of the vibe I was getting from him. It's like, you know, like, I can do astrology better than you, you know? Like, he asked me how long I've been studying astrology, you know? Um, I was like, oh, well, only two years, like, you know, like, you know, really, really heavily, you know, but, like, I've always been into it. He was like, oh, that makes sense, because you don't seem like that good at it, you know? Like, you got my sign wrong, and I was just like, because I got your sign wrong, then I'm not good at astrology? That doesn't really make sense, you know? Um, maybe because the message didn't resonate with you, that message wasn't for you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like sometimes Leo's also, and you don't have to remember that the sun, you know, Leo's love drama. They love theatrics, you know, like that's a Leo. Like, you know, they love drama. You know, they love, you know, that kind of flair, that essence. But sometimes making something bigger than it is is not the way to go. Like, you know, Leo's have a way as well where they can make things way bigger than they are or what they need to be or what they seem. And it ends up backfiring on them. And in this case, it ended up backfiring on the Leo that I was dealing with because I ended up blocking him. And this happened a couple days ago, by the way. I ended up blocking him and I also ended up blocking him on my YouTube channel. So he probably will not be able to comment on this video, but I'm sure he will know it's about him. All right. Um, these are just some things that I find really, really aggravating about Leos, you know, um, now, I love Leos. Let, let's keep it real. Leos is one of my absolute favorite zodiac signs, but I don't like how competitive they can be. Can be. I don't like how egocentric they can be and how sometimes they like to keep tabs on your ego. You know, they like to keep tabs on what you're doing, you know, just to, you know, either be better than you or um, to crit critique you, to judge you, to criticize you, you know? So... Hey, Wolf. Hey, how are you? So these are just some, you know, reasons why I can't stand Leos. I love you guys, you know, but uh, there's just some things about Leos that I've been finding quite aggravating. And this is not the only Leo that I've had issues with. You know, I've had a, a talked about this before in a video where Leo, like a couple months ago, messaged me about my YouTube channel and was saying, telling me how I don't portray Leos in the best light. I, especially after this video, I'm sure I don't portray them in the best light, but she basically tried to dictate how I run my channel, how I talk about Leos on my channel. And it's just like, okay, Leo, because I'm not, I understand that I'm not, I'm not, uh, what's the word I'm wanting to, to say? I, I understand that because I'm not gratifying your ego or because I'm not soothing your ego in any way um, that what I'm saying, you know, the information that I'm, you know, uh, speaking of doesn't resonate with you, but because it doesn't resonate with you, doesn't make it invalid. You know, like Leo sometimes have a way where if it doesn't resonate with them, if it doesn't make sense to them, it's invalid, you know? Oh, well that doesn't count on me. So who cares? You know, funny enough, Lamar, that's how I feel about Aquarius and Sagittarius and I'm a Capricorn and Aquarius moon. Yes. Yo, yo, that's what I'm saying. It's interesting because Aquarius is Leo's polar opposite zodiac sign, right? So it's just like, Leo, sometimes, you know, you just have to, like, be a bit more open to the world and open to other people's, you know, interpretations of you and your sign. And, you know what I'm saying? And this all stems from, in my case, like, my, how I talk about Leos and, you know, how I portray Leos and my perception of Leos, but it's my perception, you know, it's my, it's me, you know, and it has nothing to do with my ego. Maybe it does have something to do with my ego, but nonetheless, it's my ego, not yours. You know, I understand you're the king and queens of the jungle. You know, I don't want to step on your terrain. That's another thing. Leos can feel like you're stepping on their terrain when you're not, you know, so it's all good. You know, this is just something I had to get off my chest. I lost my BFF for over 15 years and our friendship ended and it was well overdue to end. Leos are too difficult for my Capricorn self. Yeah. Like, I don't know what it is, man, but Leos sometimes are just really, really abrasive. And it's sad because Leos are my favorite fire sign, my favorite fire zodiac sign. But 
You know, I don't know. I've had, you know, time. I've had multiple situations with Leos that have left a really bad taste in my mouth. So I don't know what the situation is with Leos, but this has been my circumstance with Leos. I don't know if you guys can relate out there, but let me know if you relate to, you know, this in the comments below. I would love to hear your, you know, opinions. How am I with Aries? Um, I like Aries, but it's kind of, you know, I kind of tend to stay away. I get along the most, actually, with Sagittarius out of the fire signs, but Leo is my favorite fire sign. Go figure, you know? So it, like, always breaks my heart when a Leo, like, when I don't get along with a Leo, you know? I just don't understand it, you know? So... All right, Leos, no shade. Love you guys. Um, thank you guys for listening and watching. Hey, Rocky. Um, make sure if you're new to my channel, subscribe, all right, and like this video. If you want your own personal reading, contact me on my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. And from a Capricorn sun, Libra moon, Virgo rising, Leo, I love you, but sometimes you can hurt my feelings.